Alrighty guys, today I have a review of a particular model that I'm interested in possibly getting. This is a 2006 Suzuki Boulevard C50, also known by a few other names around the world, but this is what it's called here in the U.S. They just happen to have one here up at the dealer where I got my previous bike. And I wanted to check it out because I've ridden the M109R, I've never ridden the C-Series, which is real similar, but this one is obviously the little 650 V-Twin. Got some floorboard shifters here. This is a touring model, which just means it has the bags. Now I've got this test rider here going out with me. He's a brand new salesman at the dealer here. So we're going to give this a shot. Nice big comfy seat. Holy crap. All right, and I got a heel and toe shifter here. Brake feels good. Clutch is really spongy on this one. Not knocking it for the bike, because you never know. Might be just set up wrong or might be needing some service. Got to get used to the floorboards. Brakes feel good, and we're off. It's got a nice little rumble. First time using a heel shifter. I've used floorboards before. It's got a five speed. It's got a bit of a shake to it. Through the handlebars, through the, the frame, I feel it in my legs because they're contacting the side of the tank, which is huge. And actually on the right hand side, my leg is resting right up against the chrome air filter. Very good seating position. I'm six foot two, 250 pounds. Let's go up into top gear here. Yeah, it just pulls along. It's got a nice V-twin shake, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Gives that little bit of character. It's just the mirrors here. Forgot to do that before we set off. Look pretty good. The rock solid, even though I've got the, the engine shake going on. Oh, that's a nice sound. I'm at 40 here, just rolling on it, and it's got that concussion, it's got that thump. That's beautiful. This is like sitting on a couch. All right, this is just like floating down the highway on a couch, nice big wide beach bar setup. It's set up and big, but my elbows have a real easy bend to them. They are just plopped right down here. The grips are nice and big and chunky like most cruisers. I actually like that at least for a cruiser. Excellent can, excellent rider's triangle. Can't say I care for the windscreen, especially on just a, a fun little around the town bike. I think I would take that off, so I want to feel the air, because it's really freaking hot right now. It's almost 100 degrees, and uh, I want that air. Very nice turning. Falls right in. Nice and smooth acceleration. It does have, <clears throat> excuse me, does have a good bit of engine snarl. I am actually really, I gotta see if these are stock pipes. I think they are just from the volume, but the sound it makes is fantastic. The sound is exactly what I was looking for in a fun little second bike. A little bit of a, a chassis shake there over that manhole. I didn't check out the tire conditions, but almost felt like maybe they just weren't that new. So this guy up in front of me is a brand new salesman at the dealer. He had to ask all the other guys how to do a test ride for him and all that kind of stuff. So he's just out with me. He, this is his first time ever doing a test ride. So he had to figure out the route and all that kind of stuff. It does have a little bit of a front rake give it a full throttle here. I don't have a tack, so I'm just kind of guessing by the sound. Plenty of pickup. It's not going to win any drag races, but it has absolutely enough power to do everything I want it to do. I want to try a top gear. I'm at 50. I'm going to roll on. We'll check the speedo here and look for the acceleration. Nice. Smooth. Torquey. Like I said, it's not going to pull any stumps, but I don't have to worry about the way it's running. The throttle response is very crisp. This is a fuel injection. It's one of the first ones 
not the first, but right around where they switched from carbs to fuel injection. I don't have any problem with the way it's delivering. The throttle response is very linear. There's no lag. The floorboard position is a little bit forward. I'd have to get used to that. Especially, I, I especially noticed it when I was turning from a stop there, just from the way I had to move my legs up. Again, nothing to knock, just something different that I'm not used to. Transmission is shifting very well. Feels actually just like my Yamaha. Stops right down. I'm in first now and you can't push it anymore. It's not rolling. I've already gotten used to the heel shifter. Nice big rear brake pad pedal. The floorboard size is very good. I got big feet, size 14. There's plenty of room for my feet. Is that it, dude? Don't tell me that's the whole test ride. We went around one block? Come on now. Well, at least I got a feel for it. Darn it, but I did want to take a much longer time to review this. This is, again, why I like riding alone on test rides. I love the chrome. The looks of it are fantastic. This one's a little beat up. There's a lot of scratches and stuff. But man, it's comfy. It is very, very smooth. And yep, that looks like it's going to conclude the test ride. <laughs> you know, I came up to this dealer because they were advertising demo day. And no, it turns out all you can demo are their used bikes. They are not allowing any new bikes to be demoed. Like always. <laughs> I bought my last bike here and you couldn't demo it. Oh well. Well, that's cool. I wanted to ride this. I want to, well, let's see the low speed stability. Darn good. Not bad at all. Oh, well, the bars go right into my leg. I can't go lock the lock on it. So this isn't something you can really putz around in, in the parking lot, but it's close. I'll show you here. See right there. Here's lock the lock. My leg is hitting the bar. So I would have to twist the bars up or put different bars on it to really make this a good low speed handler. But to that point, it felt great. I was doing one mile an hour and it was just fine. So on the dash here, we've got 110 mile an hour speedo, neutral turn signals, engine trouble light and fuel light. Pretty dated looking controls, have to say, but that's to be expected. Not bad. Road very nice. Very, yeah, it's very comfy. I would have to change some things, like the bars don't fit me. I can't even.